what's going on folks earthmaster here on this sunday evening about 9 p.m west coast time the date today 9 20 2020 lots of 20s there in that specific sequence there not a whole lot of major earthquake activity on this specific date there's a pretty good sized cluster of moderate quakes there around the philippines islands area you can see that large cluster there uh, sometimes uh, we see a little bit of swarming like that before we see a major quake so it's something to watch there also the depth of these earthquakes there uh, pretty variable uh, they range from moderately deep to uh, fairly shallow and also um, up there to the north north of the philippines seems to be getting a little bit of activity as well something to monitor very closely as we could see uh, some further activity there in that region we'll check that out here in a little bit uh, some activity going on once again there at the Kilauea Volcano. As you can see there on the USGS map there, that's going to be this area right here in this specific zone. That's kind of right at the summit, or at least the crater. I was going to say summit, but it's a different type of volcano there. Uh, as we've seen last night, we see some activity tonight, the same thing. Kind of migration down here a little bit uh, and away from the summit, or the, uh, <laughs> keep saying the summit, the uh, crater. The latest quake here shows a 1.9, uh, pretty shallow on most of these quakes. There is a couple quakes there some, with some pretty deep depths right there, 24 kilometers. And also this other one there. Those two though, those two uh, specifically away from the main activity. But uh, I remember a couple years ago we started to see some deep activity kind of off here a little bit uh, before it started um, really ramping up there and erupting. So that's kind of how it starts there, but we're kind of keeping an eye on that region there. Also down here to the south as well, seeing a little cluster of uh, swarming going on. Uh, according to the USGS, Kilauea Volcano is right now in the green, color code green, alert level normal. Even with this swarming that's going on there, they consider it typical. Um, at least according to their August, um, their August observations, their typical rates of seismicity and ground door deformation, low, low rates of sulfur dioxide emissions. So if I can speak tonight, that would be great. Uh, looks like back in August, there was approximately 950 earthquakes. So that looks like a little decrease there from, uh, wow, 10% there back in July. So. Anyway, activity uh, still kind of continuing out there. Just something to monitor uh, for that region. Swooping over here to the west coast real quick. Uh, we haven't seen any major movement. Uh, there is still some little bit of interesting swarming going on there uh, in Southern Cal. And also up here along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. There you kind of see a cluster of quakes there. Um, once again, that's a creeping section nothing big just a couple two pointers and up here also on the hayward fault system there we got uh, a little microquake going on ridgecrest still kind of seeing some uh, aftershock activity down here around the la area uh, aside from these two last night i think these two popped up last night there were maybe these are new i think those might be new up there north of uh looks like ventura there we haven't seen, like I said, too many aftershocks following that 4.5 there a couple days ago. I should say a couple nights ago during the nighttime. So still kind of watching, monitoring the activity out here. Latest quake down there in that region looks to be a 1.0. Just some microquakes and some swarming down here near El Centro. Not a big earthquakes at all by any means, but it is some swarming and it's kind of down there south of the San Andreas Fault System, uh, getting into the Imperial Fault here, or just outside of it. Baja, Mexico region seen a little bit uh, bigger earthquake compared to Southern Cal there today, 3.6 striking well south of the border. 
Still a very obvious sign of pressure out there along the west coast, um, up here around the northwest part of the state uh, or the country. Some microquakes going on there, but nothing of uh, interest at the moment. Mount Rainier seeing a little bit of activity there. Of course, this is all um, microquakes there. Nothing, no swarming or whatnot going on there. Looks like, uh, well, three, three earthquakes there. Some small ones though, right at the summit of Mount Rainier. The depth on these look like to be uh, under a kilometer or so. Uh, Yellowstone National Park real quick. Just going to kind of cut this short here. Um, pretty quiet. Really quiet. Not even a whole lot to mention at all, folks. None. Nada. Uh, let's see here. What else was I going to cover? There was something else I was going to talk about here real quick. That's right. We're going to look at this cluster. This pretty good sized cluster of quakes over here near the Philippines. Looks like um, 5.8, I believe, was the largest one in that cluster of quakes right around the Philippines Trench region. And uh, this area here can get pretty, uh, get pretty rocking and rolling that time, so we see a pretty good cluster of quakes like we're doing it's something to watch and monitor and uh, be prepared there's some activity up there around Taiwan as well 4.6 and uh, all this activity brings the this day in earthquake history up and speaking of Taiwan uh, Taiwan is mentioned here where a 7.7 .7 magnitude quake back in 1999 hit the area on this date back on September 20th of 1999. Pretty big size quake there, uh, numerous fatalities and uh, quite a bit of uh, people injured there. Some major damage back in that year for those folks there around the Taiwan area. So those, those, that area can definitely see some large quakes too. So all this activity rocking and rolling around the Philippines now and uh, the Taiwan area is something to monitor and uh, keep an eye on. 6.9 there. Uh, Ooh, I wonder how you're going to pronounce that. Man Mandera's Valley? Turkey? Back in 1899, an older earthquake, 6.9 on the Richter scale back on this date. Looks like uh, quite a few buildings destroyed. I can only imagine back there in that specific year. Uh, yeah, quite a, quite a bit of uh, activity back there in Turkey. Large quakes can happen pretty much, uh, pretty much anywhere out here, folks. You know, it's just uh, all depends on where, where it wants to happen. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this short, folks. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed here and I'll probably call it a night. Uh, just kind of tired. Got some smoke coming back into the area tonight, so I think that's kind of what, what's affected me a little bit. Kind of giving me a headache. 3.6 up here the latest earthquake on the globe uh, just like looks like about south of uh, ooh, south of that subduction zone there along the Pacific plate uh, trimmer I forgot to check trimmer real quick that's always like the last on my list uh, do you want to check the trimmer map here see if they've updated it yes they have 920 and voila not a whole lot Last night we did see it kind of ramping up a little bit there, south, uh, right around the Medford region, southern Oregon. Now we're just seeing activity confined. Uh, looks like right around the border where we we've seen some activity as well within the past few days, but just looks as though it's limited to this specific area right now. Um, so kind of dying down there in that region, but uh, still keeping an eye on the Pacific Northwest. All right, folks, have a good night out there. Please stay safe, and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow sometime, unless something else happens in the middle of the night. Hopefully it doesn't. Stay safe.